Hi, I'm Rochelle with Originally Worn, and today I'm gonna show you how to do a technique on this headboard, just painting it with a regular old sponge. So this is a cheap sponge from the dollar store. Um, it doesn't have, it's a pretty thick sponge as in the sense it doesn't have a huge, like a lot of the holes in there, um, but it's gonna give it kind of a whitewash technique and it's a pretty fun thing, so hope you enjoy. So you can see here that my headboard has uh, two coats of Annie Sloan French linen painted on it, and I painted it on with a regular round Annie Sloan pure bristle brush. They're really amazing. I think I used a medium one. Um, not that that really matters, but just so you know. So I do usually paint with a paintbrush, but when you do a whitewash, it's kind of easy and fun to use a sponge. So what you'll need is um, a regular sponge like this. You can use ones that you wash a car with too. Those are really great. I have handy a spray bottle of water, an old rag, and a bucket of water. And then I have my Annie Sloan paint in a, the color original. And normally I would put it in another container to use out of it because you don't really want to get any water into your current paint stash, uh, but I know I'm gonna use up this rest of this container here, so it's no problem, because there's not gonna be any left over. So there's a whole bunch on the lid I'm gonna start with, and I've gotten this wet already, so I'm just gonna get a little bit of the paint, and I'm actually gonna be like, kind of <laughs> cleaning up my lid here. And then you're gonna start just by dragging, let's see, where can you see on there? gonna be dragging this across and kind of working it in and I don't mind if this ends up getting distressed at all um, like these edges because I'm gonna go back and sand them but beware that when you add water to Annie Sloan paint that doesn't have any wax on it it may take your edges kind of your your edges off of your design I should say so like I might need a little bit more water. I'm gonna dip this in my bucket of water and get some more, Woo! Make a runny mess there. And kind of just work that around in there. Clean up my mess down here that I made. And you can kind of, you know, get some in other areas, let it, if you have a piece that has a lot of um, carvings or anything like that, you know, let, let your paint that you're wash, doing a wash with gather in those spots. It'll look kind of like a wax possibly. Um, and you literally can just kind of rub it in. I think I first saw this done on a video from another painter. Uh, I think it was Refunk My Junk. Not sure on that, but it's just a, a fast kind of fun technique of whitewashing. So you just kind of work it where you want it and get the look you're going for. So you can see here, you get a little bit on the bottom. You can see I could take it and add more or less water and kind of work this around. That is the coolness of Annie Sloan paint. You can just kind of keep manipulating and moving it and it doesn't really wreck it. You just, I mean, it's not meant to be these perfect, it's meant to be kind of this white haze. And if you want to distress it, you can take this other part of your sponge here and go along the edges and when it's wet, it'll kind of take the paint off and distress it a little bit. Yeah, I'll do it up here where you can see it better, maybe. I just want a teeny bit of distressing. Sure if I can zoom in there and I'll get that off the, there. Let's see. See if you can see that. Just a little bit of distressing right there. Really kind of will add a difference, you know, as you get going in the hole, it'll look pretty cool. So I'm gonna kind of get some more water on my sponge there. A little bit more paint and go in my next area and just work it and there'll be areas that are it's darker and lighter and that's okay that's it's what this look is it's not meant to be 
a perfect look. And you could layer these and do um, a driftwood kind of if you threw maybe a cocoa in here too with the same technique and how you use your sponge. You could make a driftwood look. You could even go as far as a graining tool and really have some wood grain underneath here. But you see, you just kind of move it and work it around until you get what you like, where you like it. And just keep, keep working it. So I'm gonna keep working on this now here, um, but that's the basic techniques. You're gonna just layer and kind of push it. Now, of course, you could have went like this and made that. You can see how the direction you go makes a difference. I like going this direction. Try to, I like to go the longest linear direction um, on the piece. So of course, this is the longest direction. I want my stripes kind of to go that way. But that's, uh, you know, it's not a hard, fast rule. It's just what I do. And I will probably end up distressing this quite a bit and um, maybe putting another layer of something on there. I haven't quite decided what I'm doing in the end, but um, after I finish with whatever I'm painting, then I will clear wax it with anti-sun clear wax. So I hope this little fun tip was a good time for you today and happy painting.